Hey guys, Treyarch made a tweet today saying Project Instation was only the beginning and then they gave us a top-down view of what we think is obviously the new map that's coming. This sparked a lot of questions in the community like when is this map coming and where is it located? And based on information that we have right now, I think we can answer both of those. And based on this picture here, and because D Machina was a remake of Nocturne Toten, we think that this is going to be a remake of another map. And I'll show you guys which one I think that could be. Also, the writing on the picture might be able to be explained. It says, M, this is the place I spoke of, Omega Outpost 25. Then it points to an Omega portal chamber, and then down at the bottom it says, More soon, and it's signed by the letter R. There's a lot of speculation in the community, like, what does this R mean? Could it be Richthofen? Well, most likely not. And I'll show you guys who this most likely is. First, I want to talk about the location of this map. Way back when, we were given the D Machina trailer, and one of the scenes shows Weaver sitting in front of these monitors. When you look closely, you can see that Morasco, Poland is up at the top right. We've already been there, D Machina. The top left is Berlin, Germany. Now, I didn't identify that one, but I did identify the Quezon on the bottom left. And the bottom right monitor is a map of the Ural Mountains. You don't see it here, but you do see it throughout the trailer. And since Morasco, Poland was pointed out with one of these monitors as being a location, we were assuming, yeah, these other locations are going to be our maps as well. And it looks like it's coming true. So we will be going to Quezon, Vietnam. We will eventually be going to the Ural Mountains in Russia. And then at some point, we will be going to Berlin. I'll show you guys how I figured out Quezon in Vietnam. So yeah, we were just given a really blurry image of that monitor on the left. And I was able to find a clear enough screenshot and overlay the actual area of Vietnam over that monitor. The targeted area didn't go directly over Quezon, but it was very close. It was like a lake nearby. I wanted to check that area out to see if I could find any clues. I went into virtual reality, used Google Maps, and I looked around and close by was an actual combat base. And I remembered the pictures we were given through the Palm takes pond website that hinted to this map location and yeah it seemed to fit the theme with it being Vietnam and in this area. Then I came across some information that Quezon was actually one of the missions in the Black Ops campaign. So all the clues are pointing towards this location. Also the Ural Mountains that they hinted to us in the trailer is a location that is also in the Black Ops campaign. They go to a place called Mount Yemen 2 and what's interesting about this and I spoke about this in a previous video, is that if we do end up going to these locations, then they are sending us to the locations where it was Mission 11 and Mission 5, which is obviously 115, and maybe the reason they chose these locations. And if we go to Mount Yemen 2 and the Ural Mountains for one of the next Zombies maps, then it's very possible that they might have intended it that way. So far, Quezon is coming true, and that's Mission 5, so I can't wait to see what happens. So all we really had was these monitors to go on, and and I wasn't 100% on Quezon. The map definitely pointed to that, but you know, it could have been wrong. But based on what we've learned now and the intel we've collected, yeah, we are definitely going there. In December, before season one came out, Treyarch did a live stream on their YouTube channel and they spoke about how they've added intel to the game that lets us know about the next Zombies map location. Also, they let us know when this map was gonna be released. And I know that Treyarch has tweeted out this hint about this map, so everybody's getting excited thinking, oh, we're going to be getting this map soon. Well, no, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'll let you guys listen to what the devs said back in December about this new map. So recently we've added additional intel into D Machina for players to discover. Uh, you might find a hint of what's to come at the start of season two. Uh, we will be bringing you a brand new map at the start, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at the time. Kevin, <laughs> thank you very much for joining. Us. Okay, so they said that we will be seeing this new map at the beginning of Season 2 when that releases. And we know that Season 1 needs to end before Season 2 can start. And Season 1 ends in 43 days, meaning Season 2 will be starting then. And that puts the target date on a Wednesday, February the 24th, which is fitting because Season 1 released on a Wednesday as well. So February the 24th is, I guess, when we're going to see this case on Vietnam zombies map. 
And the image that they released today is not an indication that we're going to be getting it early. I guess they're just going to try to give us some clues and celebrate 115 day that's about to happen. Also in this live stream that Treyarch did in December talking about this new zombies map, they said, yeah, the new information that they've added, the intel, is going to give us clues about the next zombies map. And it's also giving us a clue about who the letter R is on that picture. The letter R seems to be representing someone that is spoke about in the intel that you can find on the onslaught mode. When you play a public match specifically and you kill the megatons, they drop intel. And this intel starts talking about an agent and his code name is Redpole. You can find a lot of intel talking about him on the Moscow public onslaught map. Right here, we killed the megatons and you can see that, yeah, they've dropped something that's talking about an interview with Redpole. There's a lot of intel that talks about Redpole. So I think the letter R on Treyarch tweet today is mentioning him and not Richtofen and massive shout out to Zeroy for pointing this out. And here's one of the documents that talk about him. It says that his name is Officer Krill Ladovskoy and his code name is Redpole to the Americans. But yeah, there's at least three intel that speak about him. I haven't gone through all of it, but there's plenty there to go over. And as far as Treyarch mentioning that new intel that was added to D Machina gives information about the next map. Whenever you go into the Omega intel section and go into season one, there are three new documents that you can pick up in the map and they do talk about Kason. It's labeled Kason site and down at the bottom it says mission status Omega Group Operations site secured near Kason on 11 November. So that definitely helped to secure the speculation that I had about that one monitor we were shown and it actually being Kason. Also, and shout out to Eric Maynard, we were talking about what this map could be a remake of if it is and and he said, maybe a Shino Numa. If you look closely at the image, you can definitely see palm trees. So all of that is fitting. And you can also see roads going through buildings. And it definitely seems like a very exposed and outdoor complex. It's not like one big building and everything's inside of it. I wanted to go look around in Shino Numa to see if I could find any similarities. And I have found one pretty significant similarity. Now, if that is the clue letting us know it's Shino Numa, I don't know. But it's definitely interesting. Interesting. Around the left and bottom corner of this image, you can see what appears to be waves and water. It doesn't look like it's land or anything like that. It looks like there's definitely a shoreline going on there. Then one of the structures that sticks out the most is definitely that round one in the middle left right there. And it definitely looks like it's not a solid roof. It appears that it could be made out of some natural material like bamboo or something like that. So Shinonuma definitely has a round hut that has a bamboo roof and I wanted to see if that structure was fitting the structure of this picture in any way. You can see on the image that Treyarch tweeted that there appears to be a wooden walkway that covers about a quarter of one side of this round structure. And then there's also a hole in the roof of that side of the structure. And when you go into Shinonuma, it's the same thing. It is a round structure. It has a bamboo roof. There is a hole on the top of it in kind of the same place as the picture that Treyarch tweeted. Then on the same side, like in Treyarch's picture, there is a wooden walkway that covers just a quarter of that round building. So that all lines up. It doesn't look identical, but it's pretty close. And there certainly are palm trees on Shinonuma. So yeah, it's possible we're looking at a portion of it here or it just could be a coincidence. For me, there's not much else that's recognizable to say, yeah, this is Shinonuma, but let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you next video.